All right, just like in the last video, we're going to jump right into this one. So far, we've learned how to solve equations by graphing, systems of equations by graphing, because you just graph the two lines, and you see where the two lines cross each other. Uh, substitution, we learned how to do it by substitution. Now, this particular system of equations, you're probably looking at it and thinking, oh no, I don't want to do substitution on this one. And you know what? I agree with you. This one would not be a fun one to do substitution on, because we'd have to do too much rearranging, rewriting, solving and stuff. So we have another way of solving systems of equations called the elimination method. The elimination method depends on the idea that you can add the same thing to both sides of an equation. <clears throat> and if you look at this, this equation, the left and the right side, even though they look different, this equal sign tells me that this and this are the same value. So what we can do is we can add this to the left side of this equation and this to the right side of the equation and keep this equation balanced because these are the same value. If we add the same value to both sides, it stays balanced. So let's do that. Just adding these equations together. 5x plus 0.5x is 5.5x. 7y plus negative 7y, this is why we're adding the equations together. Those cancel each other out. And I'm left with 5.5x is equal to 55. 64 plus negative 9. Uh, which means that x equals 11. No, it doesn't. x equals 10. I was so excited to get the right answer. It didn't work out. Now, at this point, I'm still going to do the same thing that I did in the last, um, the last time solving by substitution. I'm going to take this x equals 10, and I'm going to substitute that back in to one of my equations. It doesn't matter which one, actually, but looking at the first one, I'd rather deal with the numbers in that one. So now that I've got x equals 10, plugged it in. 5 times 10 is 50, plus 7y equals 64. Then if I take away 50 from both sides, I get 7y equals 14, so y equals 2. So x equals 10, y equals 2. That's my solution. And I was able to find that just by adding the equations together, solving by elimination. So solving systems by elimination. Huh. Does this system of equations kind of look like the last one? I wonder what we could possibly do with that. Anyway, answer the questions. If you have questions, let me know.